Jaguar. Look at those dials. Awesome. See a little move whenever you're like. Hello. So we are actually in Bangor, Bangor City right now. Um, started here because I've noticed these are up for the Open House Festival, Vintage Festival. So yeah, we marquee stalls that are in the in the actual center of the city. So yeah. I thought I would start off here then, um, opposed to the marina, but we'll make our way down to the marina and you've probably seen already what is to come up, what's in store um, in the rest of the video that I've already put ahead of this. So yeah, we'll have a quick look at all this anyway and we'll see how, how it all unfolds at this point now. So yeah, ah, it's like all the holiday crisps. start like Lay's, Lay's in Bangor. You only usually get them on holiday in Spain or wherever else you are, but yeah, a bit of face painting going on. <laughs> right, continuing our way down then. And there's a lot more going on then, some ukulele playing. Class like. It's all a surprise everywhere I go, so yeah, first time I've walked through here. Usually I scope the place out before starting to record, um, but it's all actually initial initial reactions now because I haven't seen any of it yet. Okay, continuing our way down. What's this? Pottery? Hunts? Some would work there. No, no. Do you make all this yourselves then, or is yeah, it yeah, oh, you do, yeah, all the woodwork. It's very nice, look. Yeah, yeah. How long would it take to make, like, say, for example, this with the panko now, like to carve it? Well, that, was, that was already a pre glue panel, so it just took time just to like draw it out, and then with the writer just to yeah, yeah, write it out. That's awesome, cool. Good stuff, awesome. It's all handcrafted stuff as well. What's this? Soups. Not natural goat goat goat's what? Sorry. Goat's milk soaps. Oh, goat's milk soaps. How does that work then? How does like? So uh, your regular soap would have uh, water in it. This has milk instead, so it's really good for eczema. Oh, oh, okay, so it's like more moisturizing yeah, and stuff really than, than water. Yeah, it's really good for anybody who's sensitive skin or really oh, yeah. Okay, interesting. Like, yeah. That's cool. Awesome, thank you. Wow. Oh. The stones. This is actually better than this St. George's Market one, for stones more like handcrafted stuff. And like an outdoor scenery, which is good. Like, power cards, crystals. Like his our crystals. Alright. Hey! <laughs> So do these crystals have like different sort of healing properties for different ailments and stuff like that? They do, they do, yeah. Um, I heard somewhere that you charge them up. Is that true? Yes, you, you do. You charge them up every full month. Ah, so so yet last night would have been great then. Yes. Ah. Fully charged crystals right here. Charge you on a full month. Fully charged. Or you can charge them at the sinking bowl. Also, you can put them at the big sinking bowl and. Okay, so if there's not a full moon and you need them charged, you can do it that way then. That's great, like, that's great. Awesome, thanks for letting me know. All right, wow, and all the, all the sweets and stuff, like. Oh, yeah. Ah, so it's all from different places, is it? The... Yeah, it's mostly in my yeah. Ooh, cookies and cream, like soda. How cool, Twinkies. Oh, yeah. You see them in all the cartoons and stuff as you're growing yeah. up, the Twinkies, and all the American, American stuff. Candy would be, uh, sort of, yeah, sort of fine almost in Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. movies. Good, toffee, I've heard of that before, never had that. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Pumpkins all just in time for Halloween. Wow, so much stuff. What's here? Ah, look at these caricatures. Okay, 
we're walking our way then through to the next part. All the cafes and stuff out the front, they're always open anyway. And um, yeah, so much going on, I barely needed to speak there, but that's that's pretty awesome, like on the way in to see all that stuff. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I was literally coming like to where that Ferris wheel is. Um, but no, all that stuff happened before. And looking ahead, there's like so much more on. So I, I was a bit worried about how to start it, but that's, that's not hard to that's not hard to be the case, which is awesome. It's so busy today too. Okay, so continuing on then, I have found more stalls with more handcrafted goods and stuff. So we'll have a quick walk through all of this and then cross over here where you might be able to see how busy it's starting to, starting to get. All this metal, metal made stuff. Hi there, do you like handcraft this yourself then? Yes. It's all done myself. Wow. wow. Everything's upcycled. Upcycled, so you, you'd, you'd find it from like if those horseshoes, for example, would have been used before and yeah. so you haven't bought it just to make it to, yeah, no, that's great, like that's good. Ruben's Rural Craftsman, awesome. All that. And how long like would that bowl, for example, would have, or whatever, um, but yeah, the fruit bowl, how long would that have made you, or took you to make? Probably between three, three hours, between you take the shoes, mm. weld them all together, and then lacquer them. Brilliant. That's a nice piece there, like, yeah. it's very artistic and stuff too. That's like the centerpiece, actually, I've just really noticed that. It's awesome. Brilliant. Ruben, nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> yep. It's a raspberry, seed in the peanut butter and chocolate. Is this the peanut butter? No, that's the chocolate. Yeah, um, it's a cocoa and date, so there's no added sugar to it. Okay. It's all natural ingredients, also gluten free and vegan friendly. Ah, vegan friendly then, great. So. And the packaging is plastic free as well, it's all fully compostable. Mm. That does taste good, it tastes like very like, like cinnamon or something as well. Yeah. Really nice. Good in the morning. Instead of porridge or whatever. Or, hmm. All right, thanks very much. No problem, thank you. That's very nice. Very not not too chocolatey or anything either, and it's got like cinnamon to it. Um, I would have cinnamon in the morning and stuff in my porridge. So there's so much to see here. I can't stop everywhere. Um, but yeah, you can have a quick glance and stuff. What on earth is going on? This area isn't usually used at all, really, apart from the the art projects there. But they're, yeah, they're fully open today, they're not always actually opened, or they're not always being used. There's stuff everywhere, like. Mm, something smells good. Is that here? Oh, there's crepes being made, that's what it is. Oh, you can't beat Nutella, like. I'm actually noticing different people walking around in like old vintage attire and stuff. There's like a, a spot prize competition on today too, where like spot prizes will get given out pretty much uh, for the people best dressed and stuff. So yeah, don't know how that works really. I'm sure like the, the judges are walking around like in cognito um, and we'll just go, you won, you've won. So yeah, so much going on. All the woodwork. Wow. A lot of woodwork going on, different artists with their different crafts. Okay, on to the next area then, down to the marina, or across the road, so roads are boring, so we'll see you there. Okay, at the next stage here, there is like a, a car show going on. So we'll walk through here, car and bike show, and scooters, like vintage ones that people have uh, entered in, so they have. Find out I all the different logos on it and stuff. I know we only got a hand from the a 1957 Lambretta Model D. Right. 1957. Wow. The distance, some like old VWs and stuff, and camper vans of different types. We'll have a wee look at them actually. 
Oh, this one's actually, it's like, a, it's opened a wee bit so we can hook the camera and have a quick look. See the, uh, the lead mount? Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's all the setup and everything. Can you imagine staying in this, how cool that would be? Look inside. Wow. Anywhere you want, you park up, make some tea, cook it on the wee gas stove. And this is like 1950s stuff, so this is what like the really well off or people who've saved up a long time would have been able to do. And actually go out and have these lovely holidays closer by. And um, that we all have to do really during during COVID and stuff. We've all had to stay within our own, own means and countries to go on holidays. So how great's that? Wow. Wow, look at that. So shiny. That's been washed really well. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Oh, this one's got the boot open, so it does. Let's have a look at the boot. Surf, surf life. Not wrong there. Look at that. It's got built in cupboards somewhere to lie down, sit, and I'm sure it all folds as well for actually like sleeping and stuff. Big luggage at the top, they've even got vintage style luggage at the top. The whole roof comes down. <laughs> right, wow it's lovely but roof it's lovely that it opens so this is, is this yours is it yeah ah right flip how long did you buy it like like that or if you did it up yourselves yeah, sort of thing yeah, he wanted to buy one i went on facebook and found it within two minutes of the lady putting it up for sale so really i was like we'll take it wow he was over to england and got it it was already all done brilliant oh, that's amazing like so you, you can get them all done yeah, yeah. Wow. it's beautiful anyway spotting more and more people dressed up in vintage attire all the boats at the marina over there and it seems that there's lots of like fun fair stuff going on here so it's all starting and there's more actually and um, i wasn't expecting all of that that's already happened i did know about the car and bike show a wee bit and um, but all those stalls that were there i i, I wasn't expecting at all so and um, that's 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 that so through to where i was initially thinking i was going to start have a quick wee look at the boats here just to include them. Um, I know not everyone is going to be from Bangor who looks at this, so that, that's actually, this is where I live, so it is too. So I'm very lucky to live somewhere like this, where stuff like this is on in the summer. It's on every year around August time, um, and it has been for the past few years anyway. Um, but the boats are always here, that isn't always here. But they are, so you can always come down here and see them. Which is lovely like, so. Okay, through to this area now then. Let's see what we can find and discover. Merry-go-round. So this is all like the sort of kids rides, I suppose. There's teacups over there. Stinky donuts, they're everywhere at any sort of carnival festival place. You always know by the smell of them wherever you go, anywhere in like the UK pretty much. Always around. Ah, the good old pirate ship. Good old pirate ship. <laughs> I've had a good experience on that before actually, that's quite funny. And I'm gonna check out the other rides first to see to see if there's any work going on and stuff, so. stage set up here. I think last time the stage was further on down in a different area.
more crepes. Look at that. All the antiques. Ah, oh, look, the Beatles. Literally just posted a song um, by the Beatles. There's a poster there. Look at all that. Look at that. It looks kind of like a Gretsch one. It's like the. It doesn't have the Bixby on it. But that one beside it there, that's like an acoustic with the VF holes. Wow. Cool. It is, yes. And you have a microphone on that now? The one I have doesn't get those sound. It is, it's got a stereo mic, so it does. Built into it? To, built into it, yeah. How long? Is it very old or is it something recently you got? Recently, recently uh, this is, yeah. Um, this is the Hero, Hero Black. Hero, oh, Hero 7 Hero Black. Seven. Definitely got the good audio on it. It's about Mr. Tato. Mr. Tato is like the the mascot for Tato crisps, which are like the best crisps to have in Northern Ireland, pretty much. We got these guitars over here. We'll go and have a look over at those guitars. Look at that. and stuff for those who are like wanting to make their own you can buy different parts and then customize it to whatever way you like that's interesting too more antiques so it's different areas for all the different types of things there's the food where we were earlier and this is like rides and then more like antiques and then over where we were earlier too in that other place. It's the, the handcrafted stuff mostly and things like that. And there's actually a mixture of everything sort of around this area. This is like the main main area I think because it's got the bar probably <laughs> and, and all the food stuff. Hey <laughs> first photo bomb of the day more antiques and stuff. It's not a puppet. It'd be great if someone who could actually do puppetry was here to show us how it works, but... Starting to liven up. I got here pretty much just as it started, um, and it was quite busy already, so there must have been people like here on the dock. It's all like old vintage stuff. Look at that dairy milk chocolate 5p. Oh, that would be a good bag. Oh, interesting stuff. Star Wars. How's it going? Oh, look at that old radio and stuff. Wow. I don't know how we did it. We just thought it was This is actually all very interesting stuff here. I can't just down, but it's just pretty serious. Wow. Dylan. I am called Dylan. Subscribe, please. Festival, to Although it's not hard to get down, down to festival. Uh, so we're here at the McKee clock, which is behind me, there. And it seems to be there's going to be a Punch and Judy show or some sort of puppet show happening later. Actually, um, I smell I smell incense here too, I've just got... Oh, maybe it's here. Hi there. Uh, it's all the vintage clothes and stuff, and shoes. Are there many people buying any of the clothes today for the competition? 
are no, no you Ah, oh, good, good. Glad to hear it. Are these to be sunflowers? Brilliant. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, very real. Lovely. I love sunflowers. <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? More vintage bags, clothes. A slush puppy thing. That looks like the wee slush puppy dog that you get on it. It might not be, but or unless the slush puppy dog spaced off that one. But that looks like it. What does it say on it? Perfect, lovely. That's it. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye bye. It's a wee money box. Save up for slush puppies for a kid. Lovely. Wow. So there will be a show later then for the kids. It's all getting set up. We'll come back later here and we'll wait until it's picked up a bit more and once that ride started. And yeah, see you soon. But that is class like seeing the town that busy and the sun's out and the skies are actually blue, which is absolutely great like. And what a scene. It's one of those scenes that you'll end up seeing in the future on some sort of like, I don't know, somewhere anyway. And you know, from the past and you'll be able to see just what it was like. And that's kind of what we're doing today then. That's kind of what it's all about, isn't it? It's like recreating all the scenes from the from the past um, of the town city thriving and seeing what it was like whenever this sort of stuff was on. And it's recreating that and sort of keeping that tradition, new tradition alive from the older times, which is great. Hi again, I couldn't miss seeing these cars up close and personal, so Let's have a quick look. It's awesome. Look at that. Look at the old steering wheel and stuff. All lovely made out of wood. Look at those dials. Wow. The roof that opens to it. The sunroof. It's class. <laughs> Look at that. It's like made for, for comfort and style. Good old Jaguar. Look at those styles. Awesome. Can you imagine whenever, because we're lovely now, whenever they were first out, I'm actually owning one. Whenever there were like so much fewer cars in Peru too. Wow. I think that's my favourite. It looks like a boat. It looks like a speedboat, but a car or something. is the most unique one I think sort of get hot wheels and stuff based off these ones too look at that wow nineteen seventy four Porsche nine eleven Those are class, but all these ones here, all along this side, look. Wow. Okay, well, on to the next thing anyway. I had to show you those ones because I saw them from the Mickey Clock area that we were at earlier. Another cool one right behind me just as I was walking through, so I had to turn the camera back on. Look at that. That's brilliant. Some car. Wow. 
that. Is that where you pour the petrol in then? How cool. Wow. Is that a bit loudy? Before it became loudy? <laughs> wow. See you later. Hey. Hi there. Take that and then you'll know what you're looking at. Ah, okay. Make sure I get a good shot of that, give it enough time to read. That's brilliant, gives people time to read about the actual car itself. Awesome. And about the second owner. The second owner? Oh, is that what it said? I haven't read it myself, but I'll, I'll read it later. Oh, you're the second owner? Really? Wow, okay, brilliant. And I'm from South Africa. Uh huh, uh huh. So uh, it's. Yeah, Audi cars. Okay, so Audi cars. Yeah, I noticed the emblem, but uh, before it became Audi, then yeah. In 39, 39, it was DKW Auto Union. That's right. your car. DKW Auto Union. They all kept their own identity then. Okay. So the four circles for the Audi. Yes. DKW Auto Union, Porsche, and Mondra. Right. They joined together in the Auto Union. Yeah. Which eventually. Wow. Okay. A bit of history there, everyone. Of course, 30, 39 years old, the car, yeah. It's 1939. Oh, 1939, I was like, what? Okay. 1939. 1939. There you go. Yes. Same yes. Same yes. Same yes. Same All right, can I poke the camera inside a wee bit? Yeah, mm. it was the deluxe model that was sent to South Africa with a radiator that was uh, for the hot country uh -huh. and deluxe headlamps. Okay. Tour here, brilliant. Look at that. You have you drive with a bomb under your bonnet, that's mm -hmm. the captain's tank. 680 cc engine. You know your stuff. <laughs> my car, he <laughs> drives it. Uh -huh. uh, okay. It also has a starter and it has a freeway. Okay, okay. When Harold had the car, look inside here, everyone. He had plastic seat covers off. Okay, okay. And we took the plastic seat covers off. The original seat covers were underneath, and we put those ones on top. These look like they, they suit the car more, but with the fabric, if you know I, what I mean. So it's the sort of thing that it should have. So that's. Let's see. That is your windscreen wiper motor. Okay. Look at all the size of windscreen wipers. So I know, I don't, I don't, I don't cover all of it, but yeah. Absolutely yeah. useless. Gear stick. Uh -huh. It has flip up indicators. Wow. And suicide doors. What is, what's a suicide door? Oh, because it opens, it opens the other way. Ah, ah, right, okay, right, okay. The back seat comes forward, and that's your boot. Brilliant, brilliant. If you want to put a new cover on this, you would have to put that on the front. Okay. Because okay. that's the original. It's all fabric bodies. Mm. But it would underneath the fabric. Yeah. Yeah. Would have been. Yeah. Okay. So okay. That's, uh, if you have that, you try to put that on again, you'd have to put it on the front. Okay. So it has. It's a big job then if you wanted to do that. You keep it original. You keep it original. Yeah. yeah. Keep it original. No, that's, that's just right, isn't it? Okay. We're into the back and here then. We were driving down wow. to Holland for the rally and Germany. It's used to mix your petrol. Okay. So we got this put on. I was going to say it looks like an album to me. It's exactly the same as one Harold has. And we have it hanging up in the garage. Yeah. Because he carried his outboard motor on okay. the car. Right. Okay. So we did this. And then when somebody's driving behind yeah. you. This looks quite new, this part. No, that's so new. That, that's no, that's no, the only no, new part, though, isn't it? But, but yes, that's yeah. new, but and all this is original here. So. Oh, this here's new. Okay. He had the original one he had, he carried us out yeah. the motor on. Yeah. So we carried yeah. that. So we could carry yeah. the. Uh, with the look and carry the petrol. So but, but it looks like what was the. Well, you, so you know, that, that's. Like a war thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, DKW Fossil Drive, wow. 1935. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, thank, thank you very much for the... No, no, thank you for the tour. Brilliant.
Okay, well, thank you very much, and on to the next thing then. Alright, getting a bit hungry here now, so we'll go and have a look around at different sorts of food. And um, Once I find a stall that I like the look of, then we'll, we'll get something to eat and sit down and, and I'll tell you what it's like. So see you soon. Okay, so we're here at the food area, and there's pizzas being made at the moment. Which looks lovely like. All them, all the different toppings and stuff. So you can customize them and everything like that. All right. And then over here we've got like like Cypriot food or Greek food. Sort of, uh, it's the same thing really, isn't it? Close. So I think that I am going to get the halloumi burger. Um, so I'll wait in the queue, get my halloumi burger, first a quick look at what it all looks like. Pardon? All oh, right, okay. No, I'll, I'll join the queue and then I'll get that. But oh, you're talking to her. Um, but there you go. So I'll see you in a minute whenever I've got my burger. So at the end of the queue now, um, can I get the, the grilled pork gyro, please? Yep. Or gyro, gyros? Any drinks for you? Uh, any drinks? No, thank you. No, thank you. Some setup you've got in here anyway, like. Great. So it will take a while for this to be cooked. Oh, yeah. but, uh, Onion and sauce and everything. Everything you've got? Yeah, yes please, yeah. Would you like to pay cash or cash? Uh, cash, please. So I will wait for this to be cooked and stuff, have another wee walk around, and uh, I'll be back. And I'll sit at the benches, or if there's one available, I'll sit at it. And uh, yeah. That's 6.50 then, please. 6.50, there is 7. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you soon. Did I get like a ticket or anything? Or okay, so I've got my my gyros. It's got pork and some chips, lettuce, as my friend Dean loves in the Philippines, where he is at the moment with his newly engaged partner Tina. So congratulations on that. There is lots of people dancing. I cannot find a seat, so I'm gonna like show you this, and then like I'll try and take a few bites to show you. But um, I couldn't, I can't get sat down anywhere, like so. But I'll show you a bit of a dancing anyway. I'm gonna eat some of this then. Um, I'll find somewhere a bit quieter to eat it, pretty much. Okay, so I found somewhere nice and quiet um, to sit down. Everywhere else, I've all the like benches and stuff. They were completely full and taken. Very noisy with music and stuff. So here we've got the nice, uh, nice scenery behind us. There's a guy in the distance paddle boarding. Some people checking out the the marina docks and stuff. Um, so we'll sit and eat our food here, or I'll sit and eat my food here. So a pork gyros or gyros. Not 100% how you pronounce it, but let's see how it is. Try a bit of the pork here. It's lovely. There was like pizzas and stuff as well being made to the next door of it, or next um, stall of it. But I didn't fancy a full pizza to myself, and this was like more like a a multi a multi choice food, if you know what I mean, because it comes with chips and pork and then the lettuce, of course, stuff like that. And it's like almost got like a kebab sauce in it, but with like oregano or something. It's quite nice as well. So I've made my way through the pita part, so I'll actually get a bite which includes everything here, hopefully. Let's see what that's like. I'm trying not to like spill it over myself. Nearly did, but I didn't. Onions. Um, not too keen on the fat, but so we'll leave the fat for birds. All the oil at the bottom of it. Scrubbing out, that's why it could be a napkin, I suppose. But it's 
good. It's like a Greek separate sort of thing. Um, this was actually labelled as like a separate um, cuisine. And it sort of reminds me of the Greek Mac you can get in McDonald's whenever you are in Cyprus, in like Ayanapa or Paphos or somewhere like that. You usually get good deals whenever you're there. Um, and different food even. So the way it's wrapped and stuff is like that, but it's more authentic because of like the actual pork and it's freshly cooked. And um, the queue, it took like, I I'd say I was there for about half an hour waiting to order it because it was like the busiest place. Everyone wanted that. Um, the pizza place like hardly had anything, um, but in the middle of waiting on the queue, I, I was thinking uh, maybe I should have got a pizza because it's taken too long. But at this point I'm glad I didn't. It's getting better, it's more like saucy and stuff in the middle of it where all the pork juices, all the oil was going to the bottom so it's still in the middle at the moment. So, it's good. Mm. Oh no, the oil's going through the napkin now too. I think I got more. Open. So let's see. I'm gonna use them all at once because I'm like, I'll not have it whenever the oil goes free. There we go. Birds are gonna be so happy. I'm like spilling half of this everywhere. It's a good combo with the chips, though. I wasn't thinking that the chips or fries would actually go well with that, but it's nice to break up the actual pork and stuff, which is good. And then the crunchy lettuce, lovely. Tomato too. Pork's nicely cooked. It's nice and juicy. I think there's like feta cheese in it as well. The more meat in it, the more is coming in across it, like so. Such a mess. Right, it was fun. I know it was. This is a lot more tame than that boat, but you really felt it, like in your stomach. I'm sure you, if you've been on one before, that you like really feel it, like going up or something in your stomach. So yeah, beautiful views of the sea and stuff. Um, if you haven't already checked out, you should check out some of my my music videos and stuff. I do some music videos by the sea in some of these lovely sort of scenic locations too. Uh, I've actually did a cover at every pier, I think. Um, but yeah, you're, you're here to see a vlog today anyway, so. Oh look, you can see like the, the very top of that, like. Wow. Yeah, 
yeah, we're at the very top now. It's beautiful. So many, so many crowds. I kind of like, I cover things as and when they're on, sort of thing. Um, and then once if things take off a bit more, I'll be able to cover more further away places and stuff like that too. Uh, but this is a great way to start, sort of starting in your hometown. That's what I'd recommend if you're thinking of starting too. The boat we were just on. Whenever I was up really high on the boat and stuff, which is cool. I really do like the view of the town and all the like sort of like ant people or whatever. It's quite a cool perspective there, like seeing it all move whenever you're like. I actually watched another guy whenever he was doing his. He was on one in like some Indonesian country, I think, and it went around so fast. It was a bit smaller than this one, like, but. It went around so fast, so this sort of perspective was really good. So got off the Ferris wheel and I've just heard some ukulele playing and a wee bit of singing. So I thought we'll give that a wee check out like that. a club you can join in Bangor and stuff if you play a ukulele or you're thinking of starting to play the ukulele that's like a club that you can join and they'll, they'll help teach you help you learn recommend a good youth to play at the walled garden sometimes too at the bandstand and you'll have seen that maybe from a previous video and um, so it's that bandstand there they would play now and again which is cool so on our way through then um, I think there was one area I still haven't checked out, so we'll make our way there. Let's go this direction. I think this was the only place like where you didn't see the lifeboat stall, so we'll quickly look at it. The puppet show looks like it has been on, and it's on at least once, but there'll be multiple shows throughout the day, I'm sure, anyway, like, so... Ooh. Back at the waterfall. Look at that. Hey <laughs> dog, you're cooling down. That's a great idea. <laughs> if I was a dog, I'd be in that fountain too. On our way, the sort of way out, so we are. And yeah, that, that was eventful. I hope you, you enjoyed that. Like. Here's just a bit more of like what it's like towards the end of it. So all these places we've been to earlier. So we force. A bit too late to join the vintage car show and probably a bit too new, so but yeah, thank you very much for watching. And feel free to subscribe to any future videos that do end up coming out. Um, you'll be the first ones to hear about it, I'm sure, if you do, so thanks again and I'll see you. Hey, so I've just bumped into these lovely fellas here and they have given me an ice lolly. Oh, so yeah, cheers. I'll see you later, man. See you later. All right. That's awesome. Like what's free your, ice lolly. What's your uh, channel called? It's called Dylan McClure. Dylan McClure. Yeah, that's it. Well, I'll see. Uh, wait, when will that be uploaded? Uh, tomorrow, I would say. Tomorrow? So, yeah. All right. Well, I'll see it tomorrow then. All I'll right. Give you a wee subscription. Thank you. Aren't a subscriber. Brilliant. See you, later. see you later. Thanks, guys. So there you go. Do good things and good things happen to you. I'm going to eat this before it melts.